Hi, I'm Alex at 3B Digital. Uh, we thought we'd put together a little uh, video, a sort of semi-instructional video if you like, uh, to address a couple of things that have come up uh, quite recently with some of our clients. Um, the idea of this video is to show in the first instance just how incredibly useful an RSS feed can be. A lot of people think of RSS feeds as being terribly dry um, and, 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 and dull ways of presenting content from a website. And the reality is that we can use them in very dynamic and exciting ways. And in doing so, we can address another issue uh, that's come up with a number of our clients, of all of whom have asked us whether we would think about producing uh, an app for them, for uh, mobile devices, of course, most notably the, the iPhone and the iPad. The reality is that when we really talk to our clients, what they really want is simply a way of presenting existing content on their website on mobile devices. And that often doesn't require an app. It may, in the fullness of time, uh, require an app and maybe we build some extra functionality into, the, into this app. But what we're finding is that in the first instance the vast majority of them simply want a way of presenting existing content on a mobile device and that's what we're going to talk about a little bit about today. And, and to do so we're going to look at one of our clients, um, this is Vesper, um, who have been a client of ours for a long time and, and this website um, has been built in such a way as various RSS feeds are coming off various areas of the site and we can, we can uh, leverage those RSS feeds in a number of different ways. And what Jack is going to show us how to do is to take those RSS feeds and by using Google Reader present them on a mobile device in a way that takes really almost seconds uh, to present in a very beautiful and interactive way. Okay, so the raw ingredients of the project that we're going to embark on today, which is only going to take a couple of minutes, uh, we need a Joomla website with K2 installed. If you're one of our clients, uh, most of the recent sites we've built are using that. Um, we're going to need a Google Reader account. Really easy, just go to google.com, type in Reader, it's going to pop up. If you've got a Google account, then you've got Google Reader already. Um, we're going to create an RSS feed in one, put it into the other, and then we're going to put that into an RSS app on a mobile device. In today's example, we're going to use Flipboard on the iPad. and. Here is a cut down version of Flipboard where we've deleted some of their standard sections. We've got one feed here from um, the Twitter accounts of the various staff here at 3B and we're going to add the feed from our site into that in a moment. We'll show you how good that looks at the end. Now what we'll do is we'll come into the site. What I've got here is I'm creating a new menu item in the Joomla installation which is pointing to a K2 category. and over on the right hand side I can choose all of the K2 categories that I want to appear. So using uh, control on a PC or command on, um, on, on Mac I am going to select any of the categories that I want to appear. I do that throughout all of the categories on the site that I want to appear in my RSS feed. Um, I set this to no so that I'm just choosing the actual categories not the children within that category. Um, just for the, the sake of ease, I'm setting leading to zero, primary to zero, secondary to zero, links to zero. So it's not going to show any items on the page, but it is going to show me an RSS feed because this is standard set to show and enable. So once I've done that, um, I can then visit the menu item through the Joomla site. And I tend to put this into a hidden item um, in, a, in a hidden menu so that I can then just copy the link, but you can just put it on your standard menu to start with, go and view it, and then put it somewhere else later. So once you view it, it's going to look something like this. There's our website. We told it not to show any articles, but there's our RSS feed. Clicking on that gives us the actual feed itself. That'll come up, come up in just a moment. Now, there's my feed. The number of items that appear in this feed is set over here. If I just save out of this and go into Components K2, Parameters up at the top right, and if I jump down to the RSS part of these parameters here, I can set how many items I want in the feed, whether I want it to show the image, how large the image should be, whether I want it to show the intro text, the full text, either both limited, etc, etc. So I'm setting that to 99 because I just want to get the whole lot in there for now. I save that. Once we've set all of that up in K2, we've got our nice feed. Now I'm going to copy this address, go over into Google Reader, and under Add a Subscription, paste that in, and that adds our feed. I've already done it. Here it is. And you can see all of the items there. Now, we're finished with Google Reader at this point. Now I'm going to switch over to the iPad, and we're going to input what we've just done into the iPad. So let's go. 
So, here we are on the iPad. I've just opened up the Flipboard app. Brilliant app. It's completely free to download um, via iTunes in the normal way. Um, what we want to do now is add a section. And we go to add an account. It's Google Reader that we want to use. And it'll now ask us to sign in. So we put in our details here. And let's sign in. It's now going to ask me to grant access for Flipboard to access everything in Google Reader. Clicking on Grant Access brings up Google Reader there. Now this will connect to everything within your Google Reader account. So if you've got lots of other feeds in there from other websites, they'll all appear in there, which is nice, but we might want one specifically for this particular site. In that case, I go to Add a Section, and inside Google Reader, which is now appearing there, I can go into subscriptions and it will fetch all the subscriptions from the various sites. There's Vespa. Now I've got Vespa appearing there. That will show all of my feeds and Vespa now shows the Vespa account. There's all of our items from the feed which is in date order of the latest things put onto the site from any of those categories. I can flip it like this to browse the various articles. And when I see something that looks of interest, I can tap in and have a read. The app's free, RSS is built into your website if we built it, uh, or into your website if pretty much anyone else has built it. Um, Google Read is completely free, it takes five minutes tops to set up, and you end up with a beautiful way of scrolling your site's content. And that's just one browser, presumably there are others as well. There are lots and lots of different uh, RSS readers on here. There's one called Reader, which is R-E-E-D-E-R. -E -E um, there's this one, Flipboard. There's another one called Zeit, which has just come out recently, which um, take, it, it has some of the nice aspects of, of Flipboard in that it's, it's a beautiful interface and things, um, but it actually learns from the articles that you read what your interests are, and then it shows you relevant articles based on those interests. So the more you use it, the more it learns about your preferences. Um, really like that one, but unfortunately you connect it to Google Reader and it starts to learn what you like. You can't tell it just to show a specific feed. So this, using Flipboard, this approach allows me to follow one particular website that I want to, as well as everything in Google Reader. So that's why I like it. And what about apps for devices such as the iPhone and uh, various Android uh, devices? What are you aware of? I'm not an Android man myself, but on the iPhone um, I like to use Reader. Um, again, R-E-E-D-E-R, you'll find that, um, I think it's 59p or maybe a little more, in the iTunes store. Um, there, are another, there are a whole bunch of, that people like to use. Good Reader is another one. Um, yeah, there are lots and lots of solutions for reading it on pretty much any mobile device. And you can have a play and find out which app works best for you. So that's all I want to show you today. Um, go and have some fun with it. If you get stuck, let us know. And um, yeah, hopefully you'll find that this is a nice way to keep up to date with everything that's going on on your website. Signing off.